Welcome to my second YouTube video on my new channel. Um, my name is Haley. I am the owner of Box Babe Gift Co., a personalized gift box company. And I started this YouTube channel. It's my New Year's resolution to create one new piece of content every week in the form of a YouTube video. So here we are. Um, it's to give you a behind the scenes look at Box Babe, what we're doing, how we're growing, um, an inside look into how we're building a handmade business because I feel like resources are really limited for growing handmade businesses, specifically to start on Etsy. And it's my, mo like, not my motto, mm, life mission maybe, I don't know. I think everyone should try hard to get off of Etsy. I think it's a very good starting point, um, but that's just where I'm at. So I'm gonna show you how we're doing that. We're still kind of in the process of it. But yeah, hopefully it gives you an inside look to everything. So today's video is gonna be about growth. I have a ton of people ask me, how did you grow so fast? Like, what are you doing to grow so fast? Like, how did you acquire your customers? Um, go ahead and stop the video if you want to. I do not have the answer to that. I do not have a set in stone answer that like, we did this, 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 that resulted in this to make us grow. Like, I do not have that answer. Second thing is, I'm gonna add a disclaimer. I, by no way, shape or form, am like a business mastermind, like guru, like I am learning. I do not know everything. I just wanna show you what we're doing that has worked for us and hopefully it'll help someone else out there. Um, that is one thing that I do not want these videos to be. I do not want them to be a, hey, you need to do this or like, I know this works or like, thinking that I know everything or like that I know what I'm doing because I don't. I am still very much knee deep in building this business. Um, I just want to document the process along the way. Um, so yeah, now that that disclaimer is out of the way, if you chose to stay, we're going to talk about growth. When I started thinking about our growth, I'm like, I really don't, like there's no one answer. There's nothing that like, like there was never really like a tipping point where it was like, wow, we're growing now. It was just kind of like steady growth over the past few months. And a lot of it has to do with like the way we pivoted, um, the way like there was a need during this pandemic to connect people and we were there for that need, but we were still able to get our name out there. We were still able to make products that people wanted. So like there's a few things that I think definitely propelled that growth. The first thing is research. I am on my computer 90% of the day that I'm awake, um, constantly researching, constantly seeing what the trends are, constantly checking in on our competitors. Um, just seeing what is out there, like what are people buying? Um, you can go on Etsy and just search, like anytime I have a new idea, um, I go on there and I search what someone would be searching if they were looking for that. And the best sellers have a best seller badge, like what is selling best? Um, and that can kind of guide you like, okay, people want miss you gifts, people want thank you gifts. Um, and you just kind of like see what people are buying. A resource that helps a lot with that is erank.com, E-R-A-N-K.com. You can see the market trends on Etsy, you can see what people are searching, and it goes back a year. So every month I go back and look at February, so like coming up, I'll go back and look at February 2020. Like when do people start searching for Valentine's Day stuff? What keywords are they searching for? And that just helps me dictate like what we're gonna make. Always researching always Googling, always seeing what keywords are working. Um, that is a big thing. The second thing is once I come up with these ideas, we throw them out. Like I can think of something in the morning and it is on our website by 3 p.m. that day. We definitely put thought into things, but we're not spending six months prepping for a launch. Um, in my head, that just doesn't make sense. It's not bad if you want to do it that way, but I am not going to have every little detail perfect before we launch. Like my motto is get it out there as fast as you can. Because the more you get it out there, the more you're going to know what works, what doesn't work. If something doesn't work, I'm not going to spend three weeks trying to push it on people, um, trying to advertise it because it's just, it's not going to work. Like somebody needs to tell people like some products are not good products. We've made gift boxes that are total flops. They weren't good gift boxes. Um, but I was able to tell after two weeks when not one person bought it, like take it off the site. We're done. Like I'm done with it. Um, that's one thing that I think has helped a ton. Um, and Etsy is where I like to test stuff. So some people have been like, oh, I see stuff on your Etsy store that's not on your website yet. That's because I'm testing it. It's not a bad thing at all. So like what I'll do is I might make four gift boxes, throw them up on Etsy, see how they do. It's not hurting anything. Um, it costs like 20 cents to make a listing. So like make 500 of them, like not that much. Um, so you just always, always test like, I might make one gift box and I'll list it on Etsy with two different, three different, four different variations. 
different keywords to see what works best because that's what people are gonna want. So then that's the gift box that we'll end up using on our website that we'll put money behind on our Facebook and Google advertising. So it's all a cycle. It's like all a process. Um, but the thing is you just constantly have to try, you constantly have to test. Um, always coming up with new ideas, new products. Um, but the thing is just get it out there as fast as possible. Like if we spent six months prepping or even like six weeks prepping like a certain box launch and it had to be perfect like these little stickers had to go this way and that way and this way and that way like it just we wouldn't be profitable we wouldn't be where we are today you just got to get it out there you got to get people's opinions um and like if you follow me on instagram you know i'm always asking on our story like hey do you like this or this or hey do you like this color or this color because i mean people's opinion matters like what people think is what people generally buy um Anytime I've posted an Instagram story and I ask people's opinions and then I go the route that their opinion, the majority of them said, it usually turns out good because like that's what people want. That brings me to my third thing. Third thing. Three. <laughs> Cut corners whenever needed. Everything cannot be perfect. I struggle with that, but it cannot be perfect. It's not going to be perfect. We're going to waste so much money. We're not going to grow. We're not going to be profitable if we try to make everything perfect. Um, too much time goes in this like making graphics and like people trying to perfect everything, like just post it, get it out there. Um, so that goes back to like, we have found that mini boxes work really good. Like we have smaller boxes, they're under $30, people really like those. But right now it is not in our budget to do another run of printed smaller boxes. We have our bigger boxes, we started using those in August I think, they've gone really well, but it's just not in our budget to get smaller boxes printed right now. We don't have budget set aside for to hit the minimums needed to order. So we don't, like, and it's not a big deal. It's listed on our website that the smaller boxes will not be printed. They're just plain white mailer boxes. Um, yeah, like ideally we'd like them to be printed. Like obviously that would be a better choice, but it's not in the cards right now. So like, it's easier for us to just get it out there with the white boxes. We're able to see if mini boxes work, which we found that they do. Um, we're able to see what people like and we're able to, put gifts in people's hands, like all this change is printed on the outside. So it's stuff like that, that you just have to kind of go for it. You have to just get stuff out there. So one big thing is consistency. Consistency, fake it till you make it, pretend like you know what you're doing. Um, constantly posting on Instagram, Facebook, Instagram stories. We post about four to five times a week, sometimes every day, that's what we aim for. But just being consistent, like letting people know you're there, um, constantly putting your stuff out there to like stay in the algorithm, stay updated. The more you post on your stories, the more people are going to watch it. The more people are going to like get involved in your life and look, that's what I do every day. And now you're watching this YouTube video. Like I got you here somehow. <laughs> um, the thing is it works. Like you just have to be consistent. You have to post every day. You have to keep people updated. Um, that's a huge thing. So being consistent, but being consistent with a purpose. I think that's really important. I just came up with that sentence on the fly, but I really like it. Um, be consistent with a purpose. Don't post every day just to post every day. Like don't post a product picture every single day. People follow you because they know you. They know your products for the most part. Um, they, they want to see something else. Like they want value. They're following you to get something out of it. Like maybe it's a sale. Like, yeah, totally fine. Post about your sale. Post about your new product launch. Um, they want to see that kind of stuff. They don't want to see the same products every day. Personally, I would not follow a brand that does that. So yeah, just like give people a reason to follow you. Give them something. Give them a story. Um, kind of like I'm showing the behind the scenes of Box Babe. That's our story. Like we want you to see us grow. We want you to be here with us. And the last thing is you just have to do it. Um, Box tape has been tough, physically, mentally, emotionally, all of the above, it has been hard. Um, I have neglected my mental, physical, emotional health, my health overall, more than I should have. Um, it's not a good thing, but box tape is hard. Growing a company is hard. Um, March through September, I was working 7 a.m. to 5 or 6 p.m. at the warehouse when we were, like when we had moved in. I'd come home, eat dinner, take a 30 minute nap and then get back on my computer from 8 p.m. to 1 to 2 a.m. Um, 12, 14, 16, 17 hour days, that was every day. Saturday, Sunday, like no days off. Like it was not good. Um, we're in a better position now. I'm in a better position now. 
Um, our team holds me together, holds box Boxman together, couldn't do it without them, but it's hard work. Like, it's not just gonna come to you. It's not just gonna happen overnight. Um, it takes a lot. Um, there's been plenty of days where I didn't think we were gonna make it, where I didn't think I was gonna make it personally, um, but you will. You just have to hold in there. Um, and if you believe in your mission, like I believe in everything that Box Babe is, you're gonna make it. So you just gotta, which it's one thing I'm really still struggling with is just hanging tight, the lows, you know, but we've got this. We've got this. I think one place where I beat myself up a lot is that everything is not picture perfect all the time. Like our warehouse is not picture perfect by any means. Um, everything, like you see people posting like aesthetic pictures of everything. Like, yeah, you can have a perfect Instagram feed with like all your aesthetic pictures, like beautiful. Yes, that will look great. But is that gonna turn into sales? Like, are you actually, is that benefiting anything? Like, yes, it looks good, but is it getting your point across? And I think that's where I beat myself up a lot because like everything that we do is not picture perfect. It's not, I am not picture perfect. I mean, I just, I'm sweaty. Like I smell, I haven't washed my hair in five days, honestly. Um, Cause I've been in the warehouse all day with my hair up, just grinding it out, getting it done. Um, But everyone has their own journey. This is ours. Hopefully that helps. If you have any suggestions, any questions for YouTube videos, comment them down below. Feel free to follow us on Instagram at BoxBabeGiftCo um, to see more of a behind the scenes look. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Have a good week.